Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's that moment of the unveiling of an actual microphone for the GoPro. I'm hoping to see that I've got two mics coming that just arrived today. Um, I can't remember exactly what the brand names are. I'll get into that, but I don't even know how I'm actually gonna hook them up because there is an adapter that you need uh, for the GoPro, and I think it's on the way, but let's do a review. What's in the box? So, I love Amazon. Really excited about this because when the season comes into play, I'm gonna end up putting this on, uh, on my motorcycle and doing some vlogging from there, what have you, on my adventures across the country. So, first up, we have the Audio Technica. Now, I gotta preface this with, I have watched videos online of actual motorcyclists doing testing and tuning with these products, simply because I wanna buy something right the first time. This specific one is battery powered. The reason why I went with it initially was because it has basically a noise dampening skill set that blocks out a tremendous amount of wind noise that everybody hates to hear when you're on a motorcycle. So. Uh, I tend to do a lot of talking to myself in a helmet. Some of it's comical, uh, especially when I'm in the twisties and when I get really, really excited. So to start this off, we've got the Auto Techni. This is a clip-on microphone. And supposedly it's supposed to work with your smartphone, your tablets, DLSR cameras, uh, portable audio recorder, GoPro there. And it has a three and a half millimeter jack. Again, I don't know enough to be able to tell if the GoPro is adaptable to this initially. However, from reviews that I've gotten, or read anyway, uh, I don't think it's gonna work properly just yet. So we'll do another video with that. So what's in the box here? This was 29 bucks on Amazon. So you really can't beat the deal. And I actually think I got this one on a uh, new used open box deal. So it was $18. So we'll take our chances with that, but let's see what we got here in the box. Again, packaging wise, pretty standard for the most part. Instructions, not really instructions, just a warranty pack there. And really a plain Jane generic box. So packaging wise, not too bad, but again, for the price point, I don't expect too much there. So initial looks and things like that, we've got lots of cords so this is going to be the module that will dampen the sounds uh, coming out pretty basic on off switch there it actually has a clip on the back which isn't too bad because again wires everywhere kind of suck especially when you're going 65 70 miles an hour you know the speed limit so as we open this up everything zip tied here together but you've got a very small itty bitty battery. Looks a little old school compared to what I've seen today and key fobs, things like that. But it is an L1154F. There's the battery piece there. And also, let's see what we have here. Uh, this is gonna be the module where we actually plug in two. So you can see it's got two uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, ports there and also at the end. So. And last but not least, two more pieces here. We're gonna have the lapel clip, which pretty standard for the most part, not too bad quality. And the piece of resistance, one very, very small microphone cover. I'm going to assume that that is to dampen more noise and go from there. So. Let's recap real quick. We've got noise dampener, battery, lapel clip, multi-port module there, and then also the sound dampening device. So doesn't look too bad. It's a lot of wires, which I really, really don't like because I got to route them somewhere and keep them in check most of the time, especially when I'm on and off the motorcycle. But um, we'll see how it performs, so stay tuned. I will try to figure this out on my own initially here, but this unscrews here 
Hey guys, this is my first time, so I have no idea what I'm doing. And instructions wise, uh, we can do without instructions, I think. So uh, you've got the positive side here. You've got an indicator here, uh, plus and minus. So let's just check it out. Let's see if we can fit this on nice and neat without messing anything up. And okay. Uh, that doesn't really work for me. So, maybe I'm going to have to go with some instructions here. Really don't want to though, but plus. Now, the downside of this thing is honestly the, the battery. Because what happens with, if you forget, there we go. If you forget to turn it actually off, you leave it on and then things get pretty sketchy from there. Because... You're going to have to replace the battery. The uh, bad part about this is that if you have it turned off, it will not work at all. So all of your verbals, uh, dialogue, things like that, that you're expecting to hear as you go in and record yourself, they're just not going to be there. So that's going to be the first one here. I will um, set this over to the side. Then we're going to jump to package number two. Also, Amazon special as well. This mic was a little bit more expensive. It is highly reviewed and rated and recommended by many, many people that do uh, video blogs, stuff like that. Uh, for the simple pleasure of, it's a plug and play device that um, does pretty well. Now the difference between the two is that this one here, although is recommended, it is the Purple Panda. Unique name there. Packaging's not too bad, the brand is actually Kind of cool looking, very plain, very simple. But the difference is, is that this is gonna pick up a lot more ambient noise. So motorcycle exhaust, wind noise, everything else. But there's a pro and con to everything. Uh, some people like to hear exhaust. I'm on a Triumph Tiger with uh, factory exhaust. Doesn't make too much sound by no means. But uh, let's open this up. This one out of the way. Again, this is the Purple Panda, the dual lavalier mic kit. Immediately, totally different packaging. It's not high quality, but it is much better from a storage standpoint as opposed to what came with the uh, the other set there. So, zipper pouch. I feel like we've got a whole lot of goodies in here. And yes, we do. So, all right, let's get everything out here. And again, I'm pretty excited about this because video quality sometimes sucks uh, when it comes to doing what I've been doing in previous videos. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm still new to this and I'm enjoying myself. So uh, hopefully it gets better for the quality for you guys, all three of you that actually watch my videos. So um, from the looks of it here, now this is a little fuzzy device here. Not sure what this is called, but uh, it is uh, rather interesting there. This is going to go over the mic. So you actually get two of these with this kit because it is a dual kit. You get two mics and all the accessories, everything else. So as you can see, you probably can't, but there's a hole in there. The mic goes in. Next up, we've got a lapel clip. Quality wise, uh, this one's actually a lot more sturdy than the audio technical one so here's the comparison wise from a scaling standpoint there so uh, it is a bit more firm looks to be built a little bit better for the most part so uh, long cords instead of zip ties are actually using velcro style uh, nice touch when it comes to packaging there so three and a half millimeter port female in there Another short one, not sure where that goes yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. And then we also have dual uh, headset plug-in. So as you can see here, they've got microphones on both of them. So if you wanna do an interview style, uh, you're gonna utilize that. So now we get into the goodies here. Again, plain and simple, but uh, really am kind of impressed with the packaging, giving the price point of 35 bucks or whatever uh, on Amazon. So. Um, very basic design. These actually come with lapel clips already. 
which is really, really nice. So you get an extra one, uh, two extra ones in there. Uh, I assume to clip down all the massive wires that you've got, but still not a bad feature whatsoever. They've already got boom mics over top of these. So I'm going to guess that either you take the, the original boom mic off or you just stick it on top there. And I think it actually flows pretty well on top. So as you can see here, nice little fluffy monster you're working with. Taking the mic off again, let's compare the two from a standpoint of just visibility. Now, here's the Audio Technica mic. Again, it doesn't have anything on it. And it only came with a small boom device. And here is the Purple Panda. So, uh, I'm not an audio geek by no means. I do like quality, however, just from a visual standpoint, the Purple Panda looks like it's a higher quality mic. And uh, given that from a pricing standpoint, you know, it's not too bad. As you've got six ports there and just one massive one over there. So as we move on, you've got to another mic as well. And then more cords. So I'm going to take a moment, figure out what I'm doing so I don't look like an idiot. And, uh, but first impression so far is pretty simple. I think the Purple Panda is a better quality. However, let's see what they sound like. And I'm not gonna get on the motorcycle. It's about 30 degrees outside here in Oregon, but uh, we're gonna test it out on a quality standpoint, actually on a video when I can plug them in and hear and feel the difference. We'll do some testing, everything else. Pretty generic and ghetto, but that way you can get a pretty good idea. So. Here's what we got, folks. Two different mics, two different styles. Let's see which one we like the best. Thank you. One thing I did forget to actually look in, the Purple Panda box came with not one, not two, but you also get a QR code there and a free gift for being a customer. Not sure what that's gonna be. Probably something cheesy and generic, but uh, you do get a full user guide and support with the purple panda i really really like that because that makes life simple guys so uh we'll check it out here but uh, i'm going to read some instructions because that's what i do to overcomplicate things and take my time and um oh the fuzzy windscreen that's what it's called that's the technical term i'm just going to call it a uh, a little fluffy ball there so stay tuned all right guys and gals i have figured it out. So I'm using the GoPro Hero 11 Studio Edition and on this specific device it's got three ports in the back, uh, a USB-C, a USB, the old school style, uh, I think for data transfer, and then also a three and a half millimeter jack. So this is going to be the Purple Panda, how it sounds. And again, you get a pretty good size length amount of cord. You can extend that out further as well. So, but uh, this is just with the normal mic. We'll see how I sound. Just doing a test, test, test. And as we talk about projects, life in general, hopefully the sound quality is coming through here pretty good. And I actually like this quite a bit. I don't like the cord at all. But again, hopefully the quality of the sound is much, much better, more richer, because that's what we're after now. We're gonna go ahead and put on the, the fuzzy device here that it came with, so bear with me. I'm sure there's gonna be some noise as you come through the background there. I may mute it out, I may not, but let's just see if there actually is a difference. One thing I have noticed is that this is a little difficult to get everything in. I think you're gonna to have to force it uh, into the actual device hole. And that's it, we're done. So. This is what it looks like together. Pin it to the good old lapel. And distance wise, as you can see, not really too far away, but hopefully it's picking up everything that I'm saying much more clear, refined. And uh, we'll see after the fact when I upload the video. Now, here we go. Just got done talking with the Purple Panda. This is the Audio Technica 
From a version standpoint, this is specifically the ATR3350XIS uh, model version there. So uh, let's test this out because it's on now, as you can see here. There's an on-off switch. You may not be able to see it, but uh, let's see what off does. And now we're on again. So if you can't hear any of that that I just said, that's going to be a major issue because we always forget. I always forget to turn things on all the time. So especially when I'm on a road trip, I'll hop on the bike, put the helmet on, everything else. Uh, get the GPS prepared, music going, all that stuff. And this is one other thing that I'm going to always have to remember, which I'm not going to, which means that this is probably not going to get the favorable review unless the sound quality is just 10 times better when it comes to doing verbal things like this and also when I get out on the road. So uh, again, Auto Technica, I'm comparing this and the Purple Panda Edition on the GoPro 11. And from a quality standpoint, again, they're both pretty similar. I do like the Purple Panda packaging style better. It comes with full in-depth instructions. The Audio Technica does not. However, they're pretty straightforward. Let's just see the sound difference and quality. Hopefully there is a difference and you'll be able to tell which one's going to suit you best in this specific situation. I'm in my office at the moment, so it's fairly quiet, but uh, there are some background noises. I, I am curious to see if you can hear my three-year-old in the background uh, talking to uh, himself, playing along. So let's check it out. All right, folks, after reviewing the footage, sound quality, the obvious winner in, winner in very silent areas is the Purple Panda by far. As you can see, talking on it now, the quality is better. You can compare, contrast, review, rewind the video, but... At the end of the day, this is much, much better, much more clear, whereas the Audio-Technica actually dampens the sound way too much. Now, I can see the value of it on uh, a motorcycle because it's going to dampen a lot of noise, and you're going to be able to hear me, but I'm also going to have to speak up, I believe, to actually be heard accordingly to where it's of value and you can understand what I'm saying. So... This is the Purple Panda. I'm going to switch over real quick. Give me two seconds and you'll be able to hear the Audio Technica. So it turns out that the Audio Technica failed to work. So... The Purple Panda is what it is. The Audio Technica is going back. Not sure what happened to it, but at the end of the day, uh, I got to have something that works. And trust me on this, you can see the difference in the quality from earlier on in the video. And I apologize it didn't come through, but I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, so from an overall standpoint, the Purple Panda was $35-ish, uh, somewhere around in there, versus the Audio Technica, I think it's $25 if you buy it brand new. I got the $18 version because it was an open box. It was still brand new, so not really a big deal from a packaging standpoint. There's a lot of wires on both of them. However, this one is the clear winner, as I said. If you don't mind... A little bit of wind noise paying a little bit more because i know this is going to pick up more wind noise because you can clearly hear me a lot better so it's going to pick up those sounds but uh, in my opinion if you're curious which one to go with purple panda is going to be the one that uh, is the clear winner to me so interested in hearing your comments your versions of what you feel how you think about the products everything else i do appreciate you watching i know it was a fairly long video but Guys, this is your money you're spending. So I do appreciate you taking a look at the video, watching and listening, because hopefully you found some informational uh, attributes out of it that, um, or any questions that you may have that were answered. If you have any other questions, reach out to me. Please like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. And uh, thank you again.